Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to make this quick video of um, my current trap shotgun that I've been using. Um, I purchased this gun back in October of 2017. Um, and uh, before that I was shooting a Remington 870 trap gun. Uh, it was a pump gun, it had a Monte Carlo stock on it. Um, reason being I got a new trap gun is because I wanted to uh, get into more double shooting or at least have the opportunity to get into more double shooting. Um, so I wanted to get myself an over and under. Uh, I did buy this gun back in, like I said, October. Uh, today's the first day of March, so I've had it for about uh, four or five months now. And um, probably put close to maybe 2,000 rounds through it. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what it is and just talk a little bit about it. It's not going to be a complete detailed video of it. Um, just to give you guys kind of a brief idea of what it is, how it shoots, uh, any pros and cons that I have with this gun. Okay, so it's, <clears throat> um, I hope the lighting is okay that you can see it. It's a Browning Satori CXT trap gun. Uh, it has 32 inch barrels, 32, and it comes with three extended chokes. Um, they are Midas grade extended choke tubes made by Browning. Um, I just don't have the extra one with me in the case. Uh, the, the chokes that come with the gun are a full, uh, modified, and improved cylinder. So, um, I guess it's mainly a trap gun. Uh, it did come with uh, a factory Monte Carlo stock, but I did have an aftermarket adjustable comb cut into the gun. Okay. Um, what is what is Satori CXT? Uh, Browning Satori CX, CXT shotguns are... Uh, the newer version of the Satori XTs, which uh, they're not discontinued, but the, re the, the main difference between the two different types of guns, the CXT and the XT, are you are paying <clears throat> quite a bit more money for the XT version of this trap version, mainly because you're getting, um, you're getting uh, cut engraving into the steel receiver of the gun. With the CXT model... Uh, you're basically getting a blued receiver, but with the same um, high vent rib and the same bulkiness of the model block and the receiver of what an XT would be. <clears throat> but with the CXT model, you're just getting plain bluing and uh, you're getting the little badge marking right here uh, that says Satori CXT on it. Okay, uh, these guns do come in 30 or 32 inch barrels. Um, I'm a relatively bigger person, bigger shooter. I'm uh, about six foot four. Um, so I, I mean, I would recommend anything. If you're over six foot, I would recommend getting um, a gun with at least 32 inch barrels. Um, why? Why would you do that? <clears throat> well, mainly um, because there, there's basically, there's no action in an over and under gun. You have your barrels and then you have your receiver but there's no action like you would find in a semi-automatic or a pump um so shooting a pump or semi-automatic you know 30 inch barrels would be fine if you're over six foot but if you're over six foot and you have an over and under shotgun i would recommend getting a gun with at least 32 inch barrels um length of pull on this gun from trigger to the center of the butt pad i believe i measured 14 and 3 8 inches that fit me fine i haven't i had to make any adjustments as far as length of pull goes um, it also, the barrels are also ported. I don't know if you can see there or not. I'll try and hopefully you can see a little bit there. The barrels are ported. Um, that's basically just if you're shooting doubles. Uh, it's supposed to release some of the pressure for the end of the barrel. It's not supposed to kick as much as far as recoil goes. And it's supposed to keep your barrel relatively straight and centered. Uh, for your next shot if you were to be double shooting. So that's a reason for the porting. Um, it does have a high rib on it, which uh, I think I think is nice. Uh, the Satori XT models do have that same high rib, uh, except the XT models don't have the extended chokes. Does it really make a difference for extended or flush? No, it doesn't. Um, they're all, uh, the constrictions, the constrictions are different, but the way that the... Um, the tubes go inside they're all in vector plus choke tubes so it doesn't really make a difference as far as patterning goes um, and then you would obviously get your different choke tubes for your different 
pattern constrictions if you wanted them. <clears throat> this gun does come with a um, uh, Browning choke wrench. So it's for easy uh, on and off uh, to take the chokes on and off if you want. This gun, it's kind of hard to operate with the camera, but um, let me open up the action quick. Okay. So I don't know if you can kind of see down the end of the barrels. Um, I only shoot out of the bottom barrel. And the way that I set it up on the, hold on, let me close the action. The way that I set it up on the receiver is you can set it up to, if you want the under barrel, then it would be bottom barrel, or you can flip it over and it'll say, O, oh, which is the top barrel, it, it's the over barrel. Uh, to take the safety off, you just push that um, button forward and then the safety's off. Uh, this gun, as far as I know, um, resetting one barrel from the other it's reset automatically but it's through recoil so uh, there's no double trigger system or anything like that you know it's just like a normal basic satori uh, trap shotgun the recoil or the sorry the other barrel is uh, set from the recoil of the first shot so once you shoot say the bottom barrel the mechanics inside the receiver are automatically going to switch over to the top barrel and then all you have to do is just put, pull the trigger a second time and then that will um, that will fire the top barrel barrel for you all right um, I had this gun uh, set up to shoot well when you buy it from the factory it just has a plain Monte Carlo stock um, and I believe from the factory uh, the schematics on it were 70 30 point of impact I had this set up to shoot um, about 60, 40, 70, 30. So it's basically the same as what it was from the factory, but I did want that adjustability. So I don't know if you can kind of see a little bit, there's a little bit more of a cant. Um, I'm left, I'm a left-handed shooter. So I do have the comb moved a little bit more over to the left side to accommodate for my cheek. Um, uh, when I do fire the gun, uh, again, I probably put maybe a thousand or 2000 rounds through it. Um, maintenance is just well, there's basically no maintenance. It's super, super easy to clean. Um, chrome line barrels, so it's for easy maintenance. Um, I've never had any issues as far as cleaning. Um, one thing that I want to add is with the, um, the friction points inside the receiver, and by that I mean uh, the mono block and the hinge pins where everything all connects and meets up. I mean, this gun's made in Japan, so everything is going to be friction fit to begin with all right um you do want to grease the hinge pin and the barrel lugs inside the receiver because what you don't want is they call it galling and that is um metal on metal friction and it causes premature wear on your whole monoblock and receiver system and it causes your lever to move further to the left uh the further to the left that it moves um the sooner that you're going to get it or have to get a repair done on it so just make sure that your friction points are lubed up good with uh, either grease or oil, whatever you have on hand. Um, it's better than nothing, basically. So if you can find that, that'd be great. Um, other than that, it's pretty much it. It still has the same Bubertol forend as even the older Satori Grade 1 trap guns. Um, again, it's almost identical, like I said, to the Satori XT, but this is the new CXT model. Uh, one thing to note, um, this is a 2017 version. We're in 2018 right now, March 1st, 2018. Um, the new SHOT Show Special that uh, Browning came out with, the CXT model, they actually come out with a factory adjustable comb already on the gun. 2017, they just had the Monte Carlo stocks on them. Okay, and um, I had to get this cut afterwards. So that's not a factory adjustable comb. Just one thing I wanted to note. Also, they do make other uh, Satori crossovers. They have the normal Satori CX model, which I believe is, um, I think it's a 60-40 point of impact. It doesn't have Monte Carlo, but it is, or there is a raised cheek piece, and the vent rib is a little bit raised. So it gives you a 60-40 point of impact. And then there is the CXS model, which is a sporting model. And uh, that gun, as far as I know, is a 50-50 point of impact. So 50% of the pattern is above uh, your aim point 
and then 50% of the pattern is below it. Um, but this guy right here, I have it set up to about 70-30, which is basically what you want for trap, unless you're a rare shooter that, you know, shoots 100% high and 0% low of the bird. But, um, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything you want to add, um, you can leave it in the, the uh, space below the video. And uh, if there's anything that I missed, please let me know. I might do um, a part two of this video. Uh, I actually, I'd like to get out to the range and do a video of me shooting it. <clears throat> so hopefully I can do that relatively soon. Other than that, guys, um, this is the Browning Satori CXT. And this is the grade two model. It, it's, uh, it's not the grade one, it's the grade two. So it has a little bit more fancier wood on it, uh, wood grain. And it's uh, with 32 inch barrels. All right, so we'll talk to you soon.